Hi, welcome back to our channel. I thought this would be a fun little video to make because often I'm asked about the kick sled and how does it work and where can you get one and can you do it with your dogs. And, um, this little kick sled is so simple and easy to um, work. It's really not made for a sled dog team, much of a team this size here because I just have a little brake here. And that's my brake, that's how I can slow them down. Uh, my dogs listen really well to woe, so I'm not too concerned with not having a bigger brake for what I'm doing. And what you do is you stand on these runners and you can actually help your dogs kick. You can move along. There's very a lot of snow right now. You can help them move along like that. That's why it's a kick sled. I need to mail some pack a package and pick up some mail. So I'm gonna try to get some footage. Maria behind the camera is gonna try to get some footage and we'll show you how we use our kick sled. So I have my package. I'm just gonna bring four dogs today. Um, Ruthie, Esther, Solomon, and Samson. So I'm gonna go get them. I'm going to voice over this section because the wind was picking up and our sound equipment is not that good. So what I was saying was this kick sled here I got off eBay several years ago for $300 and free shipping from Canada. You could probably find them a lot cheaper, but that's where I got mine. And we have given rides. There's my little nieces and a niece in a chair. Now, let's go get the so dogs. now I'm going to go get the dogs. Okay, we got Ruthie. Okay, voicing over again here because of the wind and sound equipment, but I'm talking about the harnesses. I got those from Adendex Sleds of Montana and I measured each dog and they did a great job of making the exact um, size that each one needed. And these are made for pulling. So that little thing right there is where I'll attach the main line that I'm holding up right there. And also they're going to use tug ropes and that goes to the, attaches to the back of their harness and that's how they pull. I'm also today using necklines right there and that's because we're gonna be on a, a um, highway <laughs> and I feel better when they have necklines and more equipment around any kind of traffic potential. Okay, we have them all hooked up on the gang line. So we have the girls up here and they're going to be pulling with these tug lines and the boys are hooked up with their tug lines and like I said today we're wearing necklines just because we are going to be on the main highway and I think we're ready to go. So Maria normally doesn't have to run along while I dog sled but we're going to try to get coverage. So Maria can be down there and I'll try to get coverage from behind the sled. Let's have fun.
We're going through some heavy snow here. So I'm gonna help him out and run. Come on, guys. Woo! Good job, guys. Girls, all right, they did a really good job. That was some heavy, maybe 12, maybe a foot, I don't know, slow snow. But you guys did a good job. We got the packages mail, we got the veil. Good treats. Good job. <laughs> they know where that is. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're home. That was a lot of fun. It was very slow, like I was saying. Um, harnesses off. Our dogs never wear collars when they're at home because dogs can actually get hurt. They can they play so much they grab each other's necks and they could hook a jaw and actually strangle each other or break a jaw or get very hurt. So equipment off, and I want to show you the seat. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.